Welcome back to another TPM Tactical video. Today's video is going to cover off on how to modify the default loadouts uh, for conflict anyway. So this is, was a request sent in to me from one of the uh, subs on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you do have other requests, please leave them in the comments. Uh, and if you're enjoying the videos that I've been putting together, please uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so let's get things kicked off. So here we have my project, just test. What we want to do is expand, oh sorry, and one other thing, I've added RHS status quo as a dependency, as seen here, uh, just so that I can change the default loadout from vanilla assets to the RHS assets. Okay, so let's expand Armor Forger, Prefabs, uh, Characters, Campaign, and then Final. And we're looking for either the US player, campaign uh, US underscore player, or the campaign underscore USR underscore player. So these prefabs. So let's uh, modify the USSR for this example. I'm going to right click and I'm going to override. So we're not duplicating, we're overriding. So that anytime you load up a mission that uses this campaign US uh, underscore USR underscore player prefab, it's going to be overridden by whatever you modify within your mod. So now I've got it here, if I double click on it, this is what our USSR player looks like. So I can either click edit prefab or right click up over here on the prefab itself and go edit prefab. Just expand this on the right hand side to make it a bit easier to see. Uh, okay, so we're scrolling right down and we're looking for the base loadout manager. Drag this up. So each one of these slots here represent, obviously, whatever its name represented on the character. So helmet, jacket, etc., vest, handwear. So let's start with the helmet. Uh, by default, you can see this is the helmet here. If you click this little magnifying glass, it shows you where it's located within the resource browser, within the structure of Armor Forger. But like I said earlier, we're going to change it from the default vanilla uh, assets, and we're going to chuck in some RHS gear. So let's... Uh, change this guy's appearance or his loadout uh, okay so helmets helmets i could just cheat and type in helmet which will and then click on rhs and they'll take me down to where all the helmets are however i'll just navigate through to demonstrate where everything's located uh prefabs and i have to remember character uh headgear Let's go this tour. One of these tour helms. Let's go black. Okay. There we go. Change this helmet. I'm just going to minimize this. Uh, if you see up here as well, these highlighted parts uh, basically show you what's changed from the default settings. So, good idea if you're looking through something, you're like, oh, yep, I remember I changed that. Um, okay, so jacket. Let's look for a jacket. Uh, it's under uniforms, I believe. Yep. Uh, let's go. What long sleeve shirts we got? Let's go. RHS correction. Long sleeve hoodie shirt. Black dots. Item. Well, that looks a bit strange. In there. Let's not use that. Let's not use the shirts. Ah. What am I doing? I'm putting it into the helmet slot. Nope, that's the same. Okay, uh, I think that probably won't matter in game. It's just here, it looks a bit uh, wigged out. But for the purpose of this, let's change to something else. Is that going to do the same thing? <laughs> yes, it's going to do the same thing. Um, okay, let's look for... Um... Are these parkers, do they work? Oh, I think I know why. I think that was the war, the worn model as opposed to these models here. Anyway, let's continue on. So, we've got this Knight Parker Gray Armored Vest. Let's change the Armored Vest. So, Vest, uh, let's chuck on one of these. Yes, I know it's a the USAF, um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not too fussed what he's wearing. Pants. Uh, what have we got? Oh, it comes under uniforms. Pants. Civvy pants. 
Let's check on some jeans. Yep, so I can't put on these worn models. I need to put on the actual, the flat models here. That's why I was wigged out before, I believe. Uh, boots, let's change those boots. Uh, where's the kind of footwear? Some Solomon. Uh, backpack. Oh, so he has no backpack at the moment. Uh, backpack, backpack. Then that comes under equipment. Hmm. Where is backpack? Let me just type it in. Let's give him one of these Wartech backpacks. Where was that located anyway? Prefabs. Oh, items, equipment, backpacks. Okay. Um, vest. Let's change this, this default vest. Don't minimize it before. Um, prefabs, character, vest. One with these before, didn't I? So let's go to variants. Let's find a uh, rifleman lefty. Show you some love to the lefties. Uh, and handwear. Let's chuck on some gloves. Let's just search gloves. RHS. Let's go black. Now my guy's looking all trendy. Um, hit control S to save that. Okay, so now that's all the um, his slots done for in relation to his actual clothing or gear, excluding his weapons and also excluding the items that go in his pouches. So to put items in the pouch, we need to go into this SCI inventory storage manager component. Once in here, you can see that these they're the once in here, sorry, you can see that there's the items that have been placed by our default. So these were already in the original USSR loadout. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add these to a couple of the uh, items within my new loadout, my new kit. So we're looking for, uh, the first part is this target storage. So if I click on the drop-down box, it's gonna list every single item that has currently been added within the uh, kit beforehand. So back in, oh, where are we now? So all these items that are added in here will get listed in here in this drop-down box, assuming they have a storage component. So target storage location. Um, what's in this here? Oh, yep. Where's that backpack? Wartech backpack. So target purpose is deposit because we want to put everything into the backpack and all these items are going to be deposited into the backpack. Uh, let's have a look. So what's this? Flashlight. So flashlight actually goes on to... Oh, it's either the shirt or the vest. Pretty sure it's the shirt. So we're going to do the Night Parker Gray here. And if you see here in this target purpose, it's not a storage, but it's an equipment attachment. So that's what's going to be sitting on the front of the actual um, jacket. Uh, what have we got here? Let's just chuck these in the back. Oh, we'll chuck them in one of these um, vest pouches. So all these items aren't going to fit in this vest pouch and it will have a bit of a spaz, it's probably not the correct terminology to use. Uh, it will have a bit of a hissy fit if all these items try to go into this double M4 pouch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove some of these items just so we have, because it's a double M4 pouch, I'm just going to have two or two AK mags. Uh, control S just to save that. Okay, so what we've done right already, we've added all the gear we want. We've added the items that want to go into the pouches and the backpack, etc. One other thing we need to modify is the actual um, the variants. So up here in this SCR edible character component, click on that and scroll down. You have this variance information here. So what this enables you to do is that you can add multiple variants so you can have one loadout or one variant that looks like this character here another variant that might have a different shirt different pants different weapon oh I forgot about weapons I'll go back to that in a second um yeah so you can have different variants uh, but for the purpose of this video 
we're just going to have it disabled. I don't want no other variants. I just want this loadout to prove that what we've done is actually working. Uh, okay, so I've got the weapons up here to the weapon slot. By default, uh, the rifle AK-74 is what comes with the USSR faction. So now I'm going to change that. So we're going to locate a weapon within the RHS mod. Uh, prefabs, weapons, rifles. Let's go with a AN-94 in camo. Yep, you can see it just changed here. So if I hit control Z, we'll go back, drag this across. There's the AN-94. Uh, what mags does this use? I can't remember which mag the AN-94 uses. So the AK mags that I'm having there might not fit into this weapon, but either way, when you're creating your own uh, loadouts, make sure your weapons uh, have the correct magazines in your loadout. Um, okay, so you can change, you can add an extra primary, or you know, your other slot, the other primary slot to have a, a launcher or another item, secondary slot if you want to add a pistol. Uh, but again, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to hit Control S, uh, make sure that's saved now. Okay, so the loadout's now saved. We're going to go back into, go into the editor, uh, into the world editor. I'm going to load a world. So I'm going down to Armor Forger, worlds, multiplayer, and I'm going to load CTI campaign, AKA conflict, um, Ireland. Also, I'm going to hit play. Going to go onto the U, uh, US, so question USSR, so Soviet Army. Select here, and as you can see, uh, there must be a different variant, so I've got to configure. Um, but as you can see, the default loadout here is what I've modified. So I hit continue, go to spawn. Oops, with jaggedy loading in. Um, and as you can see, here's the weapon I've chose, the jeans, the jacket looks slightly different. Um, no, that says the gray, maybe misaligned in the config. Either way, that's how you go about doing it. We can see the, or we put all this gear in the backpack um, and that's what's in there at the moment. See the two items went into our vest. Actually, it probably wouldn't have mattered because this is all considered one large vest storage item. So you could have had all the items go in here and they would just automatically slow into the different pouches, I believe. Uh, that's pretty much it. So how if I get back out of here quickly? Let's close the water. Tile. So there's my character. The same process works for the US side. Uh, and if you wanted to make different prefabs, different variants, um, you can go in here and modify these and then add them back in where we were talking about previously. So it links it to these different variants. But it doesn't matter which mission you load up now. If it's using, the mission is using um, this here. So the campaign underscore USSR underscore player is the default uh, character or loadout. Then it will override. As you can see up here, Armour Forge is the original and this is the override. It will override with your default kit that you've created. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm a bit tired at the moment, but I thought I'll put this video together. Um, if it didn't make sense, let me know and I'll try to explain a bit further in any comments. Uh, but if you have any questions, yeah, leave in the comments below. Otherwise, cheers. Thanks for watching.